Hi folks, it's Troy here. I um, want to talk uh, fairly briefly about uh, the Phoenix LD20. Um, a lot of people, probably more so uh, in the States, would be familiar with this torch. Uh, it's an absolutely brilliant EDC torch. It's uh, super compact, really robust, uh, quite water resistant and just the output of it is fantastic and it's got so many different modes including a strobe and SOS mode so you get it packs a lot of punch it's really quite affordable I've got this uh, for around the hundred dollar mark um, and it's yeah just got a lot of different uses um, now with a couple of accessories you can uh, really get some more value out of out of this little torch um, in the background here you can see a uh, bicycle mount that's also made by Phoenix. Um, before we go and have a closer look at that though, I'll show you a couple of other accessories. Well, I've got you mounted in the uh, tripod here. Uh, and these are the, uh, the filters that you can get. Um, there's videos on YouTube showing these uh, in the dark. Go and have a look at those if you really want to see what, uh, um, to see more about how these filters work. But um, this filter kit, which came with this white filter here, which essentially turns this into a, a nice little camping candle and really spreads the uh, the light beautifully. You've also got a red larger one, or red, red slash orange. Um, for look, I could see if you uh, if you were broken down on the side of the road and you wanted to get some attention, this would be an absolutely uh, great tool. Um, apart from guiding an aircraft, it's probably not something that your average user would use. But Phoenix also market their stuff to uh, law enforcement and security and stuff. So for those guys, these uh, this kind of thing is uh, what they use. So maybe not not so much for me though. Um, and thirdly, uh, in the filter kit, there's also this uh, red diffuser. Um, which just subdues your light quite a lot and uh, you could also use this uh, if you wanted to use your Phoenix as a um, as a rear bicycle light uh, with the strobe effect um, the red diffuser might come in handy as well I don't use that filter a lot I mainly use this filter to protect the end of my torch because uh, it's exposed where I keep it in my bag so I put this on the end because I'd much rather the uh, impact uh, be taken by a $1 item than uh, my $100 torch, which I must say is wearing quite nicely. Um, considering that this is on me a lot of the time, comes with me to work every day, um, rides around pretty much on my front seat a lot, and then I stick it in my pocket or use it on my bike, uh, this is holding up beautifully. The only complaint I would have about this torch is that it absolutely chews through the batteries, but what do you expect? It's got two double A's in it, which isn't a lot, and uh, <coughs> and it outputs huge, so um, yeah, an hour and a half on maximum um, is quite a short period of time. But um, you get a you know, you just have to replace the batteries a lot. So what? Um, we'll have a quick look at uh, at the uh, bike mount now. We'll just go freehand on this one. So. That's it there, if I can get my shakes out. Um, two thumb screws, secure a bracket over the top. It's pretty much, um, the bike mount is pretty much uh, the same, built, built exactly the same on both sides. So you've got a uh, bracket up the top here, these two thumb screws hold that down on your handlebars or whatever part of the bike you want to mount it to. There's a rubberized substance in here and also in there to uh, add some traction um, and this is uh, this is very tight I haven't had it move around on my bike at all but it, I've still got a bit of flexibility to adjust it while I'm riding and it doesn't move um, like I can move it with my hand but it won't move just from normal riding um, the torch simply slides in here even with the pocket clip on it's no dramas at all you tighten down these thumb screws on the bottom and you're good to rock and roll and then like I said you can adjust it while you're riding up or down I tend to dip it if there's a car coming towards me I'll dip it because the output of this is is quite powerful um, I don't want to uh, startle or dazzle anyone uh, that's coming towards me so I'll, yeah sometimes I'll dip it and then I'll put it up again when when they're past up I live in quite a remote area so I don't actually have to do that a lot there's not a lot of cars on the road when I'm riding about 
Um, as far as uh, lighting up the street, this thing will light up uh, a street better than uh, any bicycle torch that you'll get on the market that I've ever seen. Um, I'm sure that you can get ones that are super duper good, but uh, you know, um, this is a torch. It's not a bicycle light, and so you re it really puts out. Um, and then the beauty of it is, is that when you get to your destination, you uh, undo the two thumb screws and you pull it out and stick it in your pocket and away you go again. So, you know, maximum value. And that's what I really like about um, some of these new innovative products is that uh, with, with a bit of accessories or a little bit of modification or whatever, you know, um, try and get the most value out of what you've got because... I personally uh, hate having to have a thing for this and a thing for that and uh, it just ends up taking up too much clutter and too much space around your house and you're constantly having to swap out this and swap out that whereas if you um, can uh, f choose stuff that uh, does everything, um, which can be hard sometimes, but if you try and maximise the value of what you've got, it uh, can make things a whole lot easier and for me, um, it helps you to be more prepared I believe. You know, because uh, the day that you leave something at home is the day that you're going to want it. So yeah, um, there's the bike mount. It also uh, pivots here, like that. You can hear that that ratcheting's quite, quite stiff. Again, this simply goes in. You're ready to rock and roll. And for the ten, ten dollars that uh, the filter kit costs. Um, not that you'd use it on your bike like this, except for maybe the red filter, but these just add a lot of functionality to this torch as well. It's, this puts out a beautiful amount of uh, just really diffused white light. Absolutely fantastic. The only problem with these is that you've actually got to carry them. So, you know, but work that into your kit. Alright guys, I hope this has been informative. Uh, talk to you later.